Greetings and welcome once again to my new calculus channel. My name is John Gabriel. So I was asked a question by one of my students about this video here, which talks about fake quantum computers. So it's, it's an interesting video to watch. Um, and I, whilst am not a I'm not an expert physicist. Um, I do know generally what is bullshit and what is not, even if it's not related to mathematics, which is what I'm good at. Um, I could be wrong on some things that are not mathematical, but usually I'm right. That's why I call myself a Ram Semper Recta. <laughs> Okay, anyway, so his question was on this video here, which talks about fake computers. And let's just see a comment that I pasted here. So in at 248, this presenter says, so why would so many smart people believe in something that seems so silly? Okay, well, it's easy. They're not smart. Okay, so, you know, there's this idea that anybody who produces... PhD dissertation is smart and that they're a doctor of philosophy in whatever field they studied and that they're an expert. That's totally untrue. A PhD doesn't make you an expert at anything. Okay. In fact, the majority of math academics wouldn't pass a test on Euclid's elements or Archimedes's, uh, the works of Archimedes or the conics of Apollonius. They would all fail miserably. Number two, they use terminology that they think makes sense according to what they observe. Okay, so they will observe things because that's what they do in the so-called scientific method <laughs> is they observe things. And then they form a theory out of that. Okay, so they teach their ideas in a way, they communicate and teach their ideas in a way that makes it possible uh, for others to be on the same page as they are, so to speak. Okay. So we know that this is the case, for example, with the modern foundations of mathematics, which are based on the utter garbage of set theory and the ZFC axioms, all beliefs. So although mainstream calculus is flawed and has never been rigorous, it's the results of uh, calculus have been used, even though the theory is not actually correct okay what that means is that you can take uh, a definition and use it now what is pseudoscience so pseudoscience is a collection of beliefs or practices mistakenly regarded as being based on scientific method so in the case of this uh, topic here on the fake computing what is it called let's see let's see if i can minimize that again on this uh, video here, I think I made it too small, but that doesn't matter, which is called Fake Computers, Quantum Computing Hype for Beginners. The message here is that what they're observing doesn't quite match the theory, and either the actual observations are not conclusive or the theory is faulty. So, um, and his main point is that quantum state superposition is nonsense. And of course, he discusses his views, which I think are quite uh, quite clear from my point of view. Uh, and uh, he's definitely not a crank, seems to know what he's talking about. It's possible that he's wrong, though, because I'm not an expert on the subject. But so far, I've watched the video, everything seems to be correct, with one or two questions here and there. But then again, I'm not a physicist. So ultimately, his message is that this is pseudoscience. In other words, uh, there is no such thing as a quantum state computer. Okay, it's it's load of garbage. So it's pseudoscience, in other words. And the word pseudoscience, again, comes from a, a Greek word, uh, which is pseudo-epistemi, okay, which means false science, exactly. <laughs> so, and the false science, is really not science, isn't it? <laughs> so, it, you know, there's no difference between false science and no science. 
Now, the mainstream calculus has always been a flawed formulation. And what they've tried to tell you there is how you can take this finite difference quotient and somehow apply a limit to it and pretend that that will give you the derivative. Now, that's utter bullshit, as I've proved to you through the holy grail of calculus. And there'll be a link to this in the video section so you can study it. Uh, what you'll see here is that I actually make, I show you how the theory exactly corresponds to the geometry, okay, to the science, in other words. It's not the theory that doesn't relate to science. It's not a theory that has uh, ill form concepts like limits and infinitesimals and infinity. None of that is in the theory. It's all 100% sound geometry. And it shows that mainstream academics have never understood uh, the, the results that they've been using. And they've never understood why those results work. So in other words, their theory, their theory is pseudoscience, okay? But my theory is true science, okay? It's not pseudoscience, it's true science. If you're not already a subscriber, subscribe to my channel. Follow me on academia.edu. It's this site here. Tell your friends about this. Click like, and I'll chat to you soon.